Dr. Wood, author of the book Miracles Minutes. Today's video is on building courage. <clears throat> so we all um, would like to be more courageous in our lives. Um, without courage, we won't have that sort of motivation to step forward and do things. Um, and there was a great, um, I guess, philosopher or, or thinker long, uh, a while ago named Joseph Campbell and said, you know, through the cave of fear is where our dreams exist. So even the biblical story is, you know, there's the promised land over here. And, you know, David had to face Goliath, his fear. Um, the Israelites had to face the giants. And some of them, most of them didn't. And only Joshua and Caleb made it into the promised land because they had the courage to move forward. And that requires faith. So <clears throat> those are all great concepts. But the question is, how do I do this? Well... Let's talk about some of the biggest fears that we have. Um, one is the fear of loss. Uh, the other one is the fear of looking stupid um, and looking awkward and that um, humiliation that people laugh at us. So if you notice that where the mind's eye is or where your power is, is is out here with other people that they you're worried about what they're thinking of you. Where you need to bring your concern back to how am I thinking about me? Do I love and appreciate myself? And to do that, you have to accept yourself. Okay? So you start cultivating acceptance. I accept myself. Every bit of myself. The good, the bad, the ugly. Right here, right now. Completely as much as I can. Accept. Then you give thanks for yourself. For being here. So that starts to ground your mind that, number one, you're not trying to fight, you know, like we all have bad parts of us. So, so you want to stop the war in our heads, stop fighting ourselves, and accept ourselves. It's like a keto. If you push against something, it pushes back. But if you accept, you become integrated. You become whole. You're, you're, you're no longer fighting yourself and resisting yourself. So let's stop the resistance within ourselves first. Then with the appreciation, appreciation's love. You know, like I, I want to be thankful for being here. I want to be even thankful for my bad parts because it's still part of me. I love myself. Next is you, you need a goal. What is it you're wanting to accomplish? What are you going to declare? I'm a person who is curious about life. I love learning. And to go through the learning process, there's always going to be that awkward moment where you're not going to look so good. But what do you care more about? How you look to other people, bringing your stuff back. I, I care about my myself, how I think about me, how I talk to myself. And that's what really matters because I live with me. I need to get a better relationship with myself. So that way I can be a better relationship with other people. What's my goal? Well, set a big one or set a little one. Okay, let's set you up to win. Set a little goal. Um, that's going to have you step out into your outside of your comfort zone, okay? Because it's only through that action step that you're going to develop a skill or competence that says, wow, look what I just did. I did something I've never done before. I became more, more of me. So we're always becoming something. You, be, you can become, if you're in a state of love, you'll become more loving. If you're in a state of fear, you become more fearful. If you're in a state of happiness, you'll become more happy. If you're in a state of sadness, you'll become more sad. We're always becoming something. So what do you want to cultivate? The mind is always cultivating something. So cultivate, you know, positive, powerful states. Accept yourself. A, 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 a cultivated state of appreciation. I appreciate me. I appreciate, I'm going to talk to myself nicer. I'm going to say nice things to me, and I'm a person who's committed to growth and to love and expanding my life and become the best possible person. So if you have a fear of people laughing at you, you can go ahead and say, huh, I'm not going to say it's not going to happen, but you just feel that fear, accept it, then bring your awareness back to yourself, your focus back to yourself, that it means I love and I care about myself and I appreciate myself and I'm, I'm a person's growing and going places. 
Dr. Wood, have a great day.